for today's assignment, you are going to be required to redraw each of these six items that is on the fourth page of your work along packet. Um, this one here is going to be number one. This one will be number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. The bottom three are for um, practice. They are not a grade. When you are done with each one of these, you will turn on your call light and your instructor will come over and mark off that these have been done. I'm going to do the first two examples with you in SketchUp to show you how to complete them. So please open up SketchUp. For template, let's just say that these are in inches since the units are in fractions. So we're going to click on Choose Template. We're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says beginning training template in inches and we are going to start using SketchUp. As soon as you open up SketchUp, please go up to camera, standard views, and ISO so we can see the three coordinates X, Y, and Z. If we're looking at your first picture, okay, the way that I'm going to do this is draw a rectangle starting at the origin, which is 0, 0, 0. I'm going to click once, drag out, and for this, I'm going to make a 1 and a half inch by 4 inch rectangle and zoom in. Okay, if we want to have it the same angle as the example on our page, I will use the orbit tool to position it so. If we're looking at your example, I want to push pull this object two and a half inches up. From here, there are many different ways that we can do this. Okay, I am going to use the protract or the tape measure tool. From the top left corner, from the end point, I'm going to select once, drag along this corner, and I'm going to type in one, and then enter, and it will make a notch at exactly one inch. From the opposite corner, the opposite end point, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click once, drag my mouse along this edge, and I'm going to type in one, enter, and you will see that it's made another notch. From here, you can either draw lines, but I'm going to do another rectangle, and I'm going to start it from here. I'm going to click once, and click again, and it will snap to it. Okay, from here, if we're looking at your worksheet, it's a little hard to see, but I'm going to push this down one and one quarter inch. So select, push pull, click once, bring it down, slight, and I'm going to type in 1.25 for one and a quarter, and then hit enter. So this object here that I have on the screen should look exactly like the one that is on your paper, except we are missing one thing, which is dimensions. You must add dimensions to get full credit. So off to the left, I will click on my dimension tool, and I'm going to replicate the same exact dimensions that I see on my worksheet. So I'm going to click here to here, and then click again up above, and it shows four inches. Okay, from here to here should be one and a half. From here to here is one inch. And all I'm doing is click, click, drag up, and then click again where I want to finish it. The height of this object should be two and a half. Click, and we should have dropped this down one and one quarters. Okay. So again, what we see on the screen looks exactly like what we have on our worksheet. So from here, I would turn on my call light, have my instructor come over, inspect that this is done correctly. If it is, what we can do is we can now use the pan tool, 
we can take this object, push it off to the side, and we can now begin our next one.